Welcome students. I am Vinita Gaur, a social science teacher working in Sri Rama Bharti Public School. In this video, we will learn about continents and oceans on the surface of the earth and the globe. Globe and Maps The Earth is the only planet in the solar system that supports life. Life is possible on Earth because it has air, water and suitable temperature. See, what is basically a solar system? Solar system consists of Sun, eight planets, along with their satellites and other celestial bodies or heavenly bodies. So, among the eight planets of the solar system, the Earth is the only planet where life exists or where which supports life. Life now, what is the reason? Why life is present only on earth and not on other planets? So the reason is that life is possible on earth because it has air, water and suitable temperature. See, what does a living being need in order to live or survive? A living being needs air, water and the temperature should be suitable or moderate. It should be equable. That means neither too hot nor too cold. So all these conditions are present on earth. Therefore, life exists on earth. The surface of the earth is covered with huge land masses and water bodies. The Huge land masses on the surface of the earth are called continents. See, the earth surface is covered with huge land masses, huge pieces of land as well as huge or very big water bodies. The huge land masses on the surface of the earth are called continents. See, the land portion of the earth is 29% and water covers 71% of the earth's surface. So these huge pieces of land or land masses on the surface of the earth, they are called continents. There are seven continents on earth. These seven continents from biggest to smallest. See, if we arrange these seven continents in the order of their size from biggest to smallest, the continents are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and Australia. So, Asia is the largest continent in the world and India is a part of Asia or India lies in Asia continent. Africa is the second largest continent. It is also known as dark continent. Then North America is the third largest continent. South followed by South America which is the fourth largest continent. Then Antarctica. See one interesting thing. I'll tell you one interesting thing about this Antarctica continent. See, it is also known as white continent as it is covered with snow and ice throughout the year. There is a thick covering of snow and ice in Antarctica and there is no human settlement in Antarctica. No human beings live in Antarctica because the conditions are not favorable. Then Europe is the sixth largest continent and Australia is the last and the smallest continent. It is also known as 
island continent because it is surrounded by water on all sides. Now besides continents there are five major water bodies called oceans. Apart from the continents there are five big or major water bodies called oceans. These are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean and Southern Ocean. So Pacific Ocean it is basically circular in shape. Atlantic Ocean is S shaped. It is shaped like alphabet S. S for sun. Indian Ocean is triangular in shape. Arctic Ocean remains which lies in the north, it remains frozen most of the time and southern ocean lies around Antarctica. Now, here is a map of world. So, you can see the various continents and oceans clearly in this map. See, Asia, which is the largest continent, then Europe, then Africa, Australia, North America, South America and Antarctica in the south. Now, globe. You must have seen a globe. A globe is a true model of the earth. It is a small or miniature model of the earth. Now, why it is called the true model of the earth? Its shape is almost similar to that of earth. It is called a true model of the earth because its shape is exactly, the, exactly similar to the shape of earth. Now, this globe has various advantages. It displays continents, countries, oceans, rivers, etc. In the same position as they are located on the earth. See, globe shows various countries, continents, oceans, rivers in the exactly same manner or in exactly same shape and size as they are present on the earth's surface. See, when we look at the world map, then what happens? The map, the shape of the various continents, ocean, river, countries is not exactly the same size and shape. It differs. Why? Because we draw map on a flat surface whereas the surface of the earth is spherical. So, the globe is more accurate than map, it represents the countries, continents and ocean in their correct shape and size as they are present on the earth. Now, globe is quite useful to us and it helps us in the study of earth's surface. So, glo globe is very useful. It helps in the study of earth's surface but globe has certain limitations also a globe does not show the details of the earth's surface we cannot see the various details like cities towns and other things on the globe we basically see the continents oceans and some important countries it cannot be carried easily from one place to another. Now, it is not handy or easy to carry. Some of the globes are very big and so it is not easy to carry them. Though, nowadays, globes are available in small sizes. There are some pocket globes or balloon globes which can be inflated and used. Then, another limitation is that we see only half portion of the globe at a time. At a time, 
we can see only half portion of the globe the when we have to see the other half of the globe we will have to rotate it on the needle or the axis being provided we cannot see both the halves of the earth at the same time